going on guys? Nope from Kicking Their Ass TV. Gotta keep it original. Here with another video, and a lot of you guys have been asking, what's the best bass fishing be? What would you fish here? What would you do this? Da, da, da. And my answer to the best bass fishing bait, what is the best bass fishing bait? I don't think there is one. There, think about it this way. There's baits. I want you guys to watch this video all the way through because I think you'll get really good information about it. And please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up if you have been enjoying the content. Look at a fish, like say, say I open my fishing box, I have some crankbaits, I, I have some shaky heads, I have some jerk baits, I have some spoons. Look at that, just like when you open a toolbox. You have a flathead, you have a Phillips head, you have Allen keys, you know, you have all those different tools. I want to take a flathead to a Phillips head and try it, you know, strip it out, right? It's just ain't gonna work. So say I take a jerk bait, those fish are not aren't active, those fish are on the bottom, they're not active at all. I try throwing that thing, or say it's top water. I try throwing top water, those fish are on the bottom, they're not active at all. They're not giving a crap about that. It just ain't gonna work, you know? If I take a flathead and try to go with a Phillips head, it just ain't gonna work. It's just there's, there's, there's tools for certain times. And so it all goes down to where are the fish located? What are the fish doing that time of year? I want to go and I know some of you guys are going to correct me on this and you're going to say, oh, I caught top water bass in 20 degree water. Say I'm in 20 degree water. I'm just saying, you know, you know say it's frozen. Say, say there's ice. I want to go through a top water river ice. Like it just don't make sense, you know? So you got to break it down to what they're biting on, where the fish are located, in the, in the range that the water is. So say, say I look at my graph and the fish are located on the bottom. I know that the, there's a bluebird skies, the fish aren't too active, the pressure is high, those fish are on the bottom. So I know I'm not gonna go grab my spook and try to cast it over the top. Maybe if the fish were active and I knew I could get them to come up to eat that, I would throw that. But from that point, I see those fish on the bottom, looking at my graph, I know to pick up a shaky head, a wobble head, a drop shot, a Carolina rig, a worm, you know, a crawl, anything in that nature. Heck, a crankbait if you can get it down that deep, depending on what depth range you are. Fish where the fish are at, you know, don't... And then again, if I look at my graph and I see the fish at the top of the water column, I see them in the first 10 to 5... Say I'm sitting in 40 foot of water, I see them in, in the range of between 0 to 10 foot. They're kind of close to the boat, you know. Um, yeah, I'll pick up a jerkbait, I'll pick up a top water, I'll pick up anything in that sort of nature, swim bait. Um, try to get those fish to fire off. You know. Then again, if I see those fish in 20 foot of water, and I'm sitting in 40 foot of water, so they're in the middle, right? They're in the, that median range. I can get a crankbait, which most of the time when they're in that median range, they're they're suspended. You know, I'm gonna get a crankbait. I'm gonna throw a crankbait out there, and I'm gonna reel a crankbait through because I'm hitting that middle column. Or heck, I get like a fish head, and I throw it out there. I usually work fish head on the bottom. That's personal personal what I do, um, but I can, I can control, I can throw it out there and count to 10, oh I know it's in 20 foot now, really, you know what I mean? It's just fish where the fish are, you're not going to throw a top water if they're on the bottom, you're not going to throw a shaky head if they're hitting top water, it all not make sense, you know? So that's my tips to on the best fishing lure, I don't think there is a best fishing lure, a lot of you guys ask me that and, and there just isn't a best fishing lure, there's tools to be done. Can I pick three of my favorite fishing lures? Yes, I can do that. I can pick a wobblehead, a spook, and a 5XD crankbait. There, there you go. There's three best baits. You know, I mean, but you gotta, you gotta have one for everything, man. So if, if you're going out on the lake, you gotta be prepared. You gotta have. There, there's gonna be a bottom bait. There's gonna be a top bait. There's gonna be a middle bait. And that's my tips, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video and you got a few tips out of this, please give the video a thumbs up. It really supports the channel. And I can't thank you guys enough for all the love you guys are giving me. Um, definitely comment below if you enjoyed it or if you have any more questions about any baits or any tips on the water. Also, um, comment below if you have any video suggestions that you want me to do. I know you guys want me to do like a sponsors one and stuff, and I can look into that. I mean, it's just so much that I have to combine. I want to talk to a few of my sponsors. What are they looking for? For you to, to get sponsored, you know. Um, also, kicking the rest: who rags, hats, t-shirts, um, wobble heads, shaky heads, spoons, chatter baits, all my baits and apparel. 
down below at www.kickintheirbasstv.com slash gear. So thank you guys for watching. Like I said, please give the video a thumbs up. See you guys next time.